Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I will show you how to use dual sim on iPhone 17. Friends, you can use two sims simultaneously on your iPhone. One is the physical sim, which I have already inserted into my iPhone. And the second is the eSIM. If you want to set up eSIM card, go to the iPhone settings. After opening the settings, click on mobile service. Then tap on add eSIM. If you have an eSIM in your old iPhone, you can transfer that eSIM card on your new iPhone by clicking on transfer from nearby iPhone. If you want to set up a new eSIM, click on use QR code. Now you contact your service provider to get a barcode for the eSIM and scan it with the scanner. After that, you can set up your eSIM card. I have made a dedicated video for Indian user on how to set up eSIM card. I will provide the video link in the video description. Guys, now we will show after setting up two SIM how to use this SIM for calling, internet and messaging service. To better understand the two SIM card, we will now set their names. The first is the physical SIM card. Click on it. Then tap on the level. Now you can set it primary or secondary level. Now I will create a custom level. This is my Geo SIM. So I will name it Geo. This way you can set your operator name. I did this for my own understanding. After set up the label, go back. In this way you can set the label of the second SIM card. This is my Airtel eSIM. So I label it Airtel eSIM. Now go back after setting the label. Guys, now click on the default voice line and select the SIM card as per your preference for calling. I set the Geo SIM for calling. Now we can make the all phone call from Geo SIM. Now open the iPhone phone dialer. You can change the SIM card before making a phone call by tapping here. Then click on the recent option. By looking at the initial word here, you have to understand that the last incoming or outgoing call has been made on your SIM card. J means Geo and A means Airtel. This way you have to understand. Now if you want to call that contact person, the call will be made from the SIM you have used the last time. This is a big problem for many people. Because even after setting the default SIM for calling, you are not able to make calls from the default SIM card. To change this, open the contact number and tap here. By default, it is set to last use. You can select the SIM card according to your preference by changing it from the last use to always use. After setting your preference, click on done. After that, if you call to that person again, your iPhone always use your preference SIM card. It has to be set separately for each contact number, which is very difficult. Once the default SIM is set for calling, then we will set the SIM card for internet usage. Now open the iPhone settings. After opening the settings, click on mobile data. The internet is now off. To use the internet, you can select the SIM according to your preference from here. Once the SIM card is set for internet usage, then we will set the SIM card for the messaging service. Now open the message app and click here to start a new conversation. Then tap on plus and add the contact number. After that, you can change your SIM card by tapping on it. In the old message conversation, the last usage SIM card will be set. Friends, to change the SIM card of an old message conversation, click on that person icon. After that, select the SIM card according to your preference in the conversation line. Then tap on done. After that, your iPhone will always use your preference SIM card for that contact person. The default voice line SIM card will be used in new message conversation. But you will have to change the SIM card in every old conversation, which is very annoying. So in this way, you can use two SIM cards for calling, internet usage and messaging service. I hope this video will be helpful for you. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates.